Now today, summer vacation is now over for more than 120,000 local families. Uh, today, San Diego Unified students back in class without masks being required for the first time in nearly two and a half years. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Logan Heights to show us the first day of school, how it's going out there so far. Lots of happy kids. And look here at the Logan Memorial Educational Complex. We are talking about elementary, middle and high school, even preschoolers eventually in the future. But look, this is the first day of school, but it's also the first first day of school, if you will, at this brand new school and they celebrate it in style. And we saw a bunch of smiles as the first ever freshman class of students entered what will be now Logan Memorial Educational Campus. And they are going to be the only high schoolers in school right now. They are not going to have any upperclassmen. So those freshmen will have a chance to become the first sophomores, the first juniors, and eventually the first graduating class. And what they were told uh, by some of the uh, supervisors uh, here within the school at, a late, at an earlier date essentially is, look, we need you guys to be role models. And so that's a bit of the responsibility that they have but look all smiles today as we got ready now some other pretty unique things again about Logan Memorial Educational Campus is the fact that it is going to be a fully functioning preschool, elementary school, middle and high school. There's even going to be a prenatal program where pregnant mothers in the community can access education as well as parenting programs and information. And then when that child is born, they can enter that infant program, eventually that preschool and so forth. So again, the focus is on the community here. Now we spoke with Dr. Lamont Jackson about the fact that this is the first high school in Logan Heights and what that means for the community as well as San Diego Unified. It is impressive and, and I grew up uh, just about eight blocks away and we had to think about you know going from Emerson to are we going to go to Memorial are we going to go to Gompers and then if you go to Gompers are you going to go to Lincoln or are you going to go to San Diego High and so now we have a school in the community uh, and we talk about quality schools in every neighborhood. And now the Logan Heights community has their high school. And another first, if you will, today is that this is the first first day of school in what two and a half years now that the kids aren't required to wear masks. Again, San Diego Unified saying masks are not required. Now, what may happen in the future is that they will be taking a look at case by case basis in terms of outbreaks, in terms of attendance. And if they do feel that masks at a singular school will be necessary, that may be something that happens. But as I just pointed out there, it'll be a school by school basis or as one administrator uh, outlined with us earlier in a morning uh, earlier this morning in an interview is it could even be a class by class basis depending on the type of school.